to open a course on genomio.com first open the website genomio.com and when the site opens just check in in this check box write the name of the site you want to open like poetry.com and genomio.com i have chosen and you have to choose an email id uh, say this email id i have chosen then we click on to create site this prompts you to go to your mail and verify the link you open the mail and when that is done you will see the mail from genomio.com it may sometimes land in the spam folder so you have to check it there also seems it hasn't arrived yet Okay, now we have got the mail. It says the mail site Moodle site is quality dot genomio dot com, and it has given a username, admin, and a password. Now the site has already been created. We simply have to log in using this account detail by first typing in your website address. and append it with .genomio.com the same website opens which opened initially but with a difference that now it is a website named with qrt.genomio.com and you have an option for this is an issue with genomio it is usually blocked by ad blockers and genomio works on the model of getting revenues by posting advertisements so you have to remove any ad blocker if it is installed in your website and then open the website then you have to log in using the account details provided by the genomio mail uh, in our case it was admin and the password you have to enter one which was provided by genomio that is this password so now we have this password we simply copy it and key in the password section and login it's a very simple process and once you log in you are logged in now as admin user uh, you may switch role to uh, course creator and now you see the course creator is being shown in the bar now to create a course you need to click on add a new course you have to enter the details of the new course uh, like I am just getting some values here and we have various options like choosing the 
course category it can be uh, miscellaneous or whatever the course administrator that is you decides uh, the start date the end date the course id number you may put some values here and you may describe some uh, details about the course contents or what is the aim of the course and then you move simply to the lower sections if you have any uh, summary or course file which you want to upload you can simply add that if you want to customize it you can choose the image section you can add the uh, images to customize your course whatever is the course format which you have decided whether it is in the form of various topics or it is a uh, single activity just for a workshop or it is a social format course or it is a weekly format course in which you put topic divide topics in uh, sections uh, which are to be covered in a week then in the subsequent weeks each is to be addressed as a separate week then you whether you want to have any section hidden from the users the general layout of the course whether the course will be laid out Uh, all section in one page or only one section in one page how the course appears to the user where there will be any particular language or uh, there is a calendar to be followed or utilized the uh, choices of whether the students can see grade book or uh, how many announcements are to be there all these can be chosen how the files are going to be uploaded and what is the maximum size permitted the maximum size that which genomeo allows is 100 mb but you can choose whatever is convenient for you uh, whether you want to assign groups to the students uh, of a large class or you want to rename the uh, various positions you are going to assign to the participants of the course whether they are teachers or whether they are course creators or non editing teachers or students Whoever, and then various tags which need to be entered so that the course is easily searchable to the students and teachers throughout the world, and then you save and display if you want to publish it right now, or you can choose save and return if you want to give second thoughts to entries you have done. Once you click save and display, the course gets created, but this course. is now incomplete because it doesn't have a deta uh, details like who are the users and what are the course contents and all that has to be chosen by editing certain sections like you want to change suppose uh, topic 1 you have to click on topic 1 i have not added any content you need to add content first and for that you need to go to turn editing on when you turn editing on you can now create uh or add sections or content to the course like you can add a topic uh by keying in uh, the name say i say uh, topic physical chemistry so it will be displayed here this all is done by is all done by changing various sections in the course and then every time do remember to click save changes wherever possible you can add content by clicking add an activity or resource which provides various options like assignments uh, chat option database lessons quizzes 
any workshop content, any file folder to be uploaded, resources available, etc. And whatever you do, just click on the add button and it happens. When you go into details, this creating the wholesome detail, you create a course and then you invite students to participate in it by enabling various registration options or manual registration. I hope this will service you well. Thank you.